see that like unless they delete someone, unless they hit a miracle never move, there is just no CC on this whole lineup. Even though it looked like ooh. Oh, that's an aggressive he's player dead. coming in from him. He's looking to try and take him down. Is going to be able to pick up first blood. In fact, goes up towards Kid. Good flash coming out of Rookie. He's trying to escape from Cleanup. Just chasing him down with this crack. His Ignite is ticking. One more auto attack is going to be enough. He gets chained up, but Cleanup's in a little bit of trouble. His Kid putting some Brom damage coming. down on this Gragas. But here comes Brom. Going to be able to help protect this Cleanup. But Kid still dashing aggressively forward. Trundle's down here as well. Shoot picks up. I mean, Tabe. Picks up this kill. As Rain actually taking a lot of damage in the bottom lane, but this is a disaster for EDG now. It's a flash forward on Tabe top of Red. death. Double kill from Tabe there. The Trundle coming massive in that fight. Yeah, great rotation out of Tabe, and that means they're going to be able to shove the lane in and a thousand gold lead. Pretty much a solo kill. Even keeping even in terms of CS so far. Clear Love has snuck into this bush down in the bottom lane here against Tabe and Rain, looking to try and find a gank. They're going to be able to jump on top of this, trying to lock him down. The stun will come out from Brom as well. Tabe is going to get picked off. Death finds a kill for himself. Yeah, and as we said, you know, it was Tabe that grabbed the kills. That makes frustrating for the bottom lane of EDG. He's got his boots as well, so going to move fast on top of that. As Rookie still doing Rookie things, being aggressive against Scout. He has to use the ultimate, in fact. Going to get taken down really low by the collateral damage coming out from Graves, but not quite able to kill him or put him into kill range. Yeah, that's still nice, though, out of Kid, you know. Able to continue to influence this lane. Now Rain's in trouble. He takes a tower shot here. Now Caitlyn getting, turning around the damage here. Tabe, the next target, going to get locked down by the passive one more time. A double kill down on the bottom lane for EDG. And it's there's still 6-10 here, which means Azir can still... You know, put down the W and get a little bit of extra damage on towards the turrets as well. So the Siege is coming out from the EG lineup going to be huge. But Rookie being really aggressive. Flashes over the ultimate coming out from Scout. But he's got friends here. Brom jumps over towards a minion. Rookie kind of confused him for a little bit there. Trying to run away. To me, my heart's a tie. He's able to take down Scout down on the back lines. Yeah, there. Keystone Mastery. So Mouse doing a good job of, you know, pressuring out. And that's really cheeky use there out of Mako. They're actually going aggressive. Ultimate actually being popped there Double by teleport. Tabe on top of the Caitlyn. Double teleport coming in. Here comes Klulov. Knocks Tabe backwards. They're looking for the Lucian though. Ultimate comes out for Caitlyn. Chunks it down. Rain finds the kill. Meanwhile though, in the mid lane, Scout in a little bit of trouble. Rookie gets... a uh, Rookie's the one that's able to take it down with the help of Kid. So kills traded. Takes down the red buff for himself and immediately looking trying to go towards mid lane. Rookie, in fact, used the double jump to stare on towards Scout. Locks him down with the change. Now gonna get tanged up by the Braum passive. They're looking for the clone, but that's the wrong one. Immediately, Mako flashes forward. He's looking for a kill onto Rookie. A couple more slaps would do the trick, but that's a really slippery little bunk. Here comes Clue Love. Just body bops him straight into the face and picks up a kill. And you can see that, you know, EDG just one step ahead while Solutions farming bottom lane. They send four people into the mid lane. Let's shut down the LeBlanc. Let's continue to knock down structures, create this artificial gold lead, you know, that will be equalized if we're ever IG are able to answer back, but they're not done. And IG, they're going to be able to take down the bottom lane out of turret by EDG. Like you mentioned, they're not done. They're looking towards the top, uh, mid lane, sorry, in a turret. Clear love just makes his way down to the bottom lane, clears out the minions and stops the advances for IG even further. And this is 6 tenors here. I mean, you can't race him. The Arise still does damage. As finally now is a tie coming in. Never move does come down. Lands on towards death. They're trying to pincer him, but that's the Azir's heart separating him. Now it's going to be up in the Ooh, top lane. Mouse. mouse tries to jump in there. Meanwhile, we see Scout go over the wall. Doesn't get the damage he wants, but Mako locks it down with the ultimate. They're looking for more here. As here comes the double jump. Shuts down death there. And the Blanc still trying to run away. Clear off though. He's able to take that kid in the back lines. Rookie living with 10 health there. Trying to jump out. Mako looking to try and get something, but he can't. There's the dash coming in from the top laner, not going to be able to find it. The turret goes down, and this is Rain. not looking good. There goes Rookie, back into the back lines. Clear Love, able to take down Raindo. Suddenly, turning around into EDG's favor one more time. Clear Love doesn't get oh, the body missed. bomb. Missed the barrel as well. Still wants to chase Rookie, but not going to be able to find him. Meanwhile, Mako was able to outrun Tabe. The support's not able to do combat this time around, but Clear oh, Rookie. He wants it. Dash comes in. Clear Love, oh, gets juked out one more time by the distortion. Rookie somehow lives throughout that fight. And dragons for themselves as Kid 
Looking to try and contest this one. In fact, EDG trying to back off away from this Dragon Pit. They just want to pull it out as far as possible, you know, make sure it's in burst range before they go for anything. Going for it one more time. Def's actually going to be able to pick this one up. This time, it's IG that are low on health. They're going to try and jump in. Tatai gets locked down and taken down by Def. Now they're looking towards Kid. The car's actually going to knock him back towards the safety of his team's blocking him from the ice in the hole coming in. But their scout over the wall separates the rest of the team. Now IG have to run towards the wrong side of the rift. EDG just going to look to try and chase them. Now Tabe, he might be the sacrificial lamb. He's going to get caught out by Kludov shortly. Body slam comes in. Locks down the trundle. Rookie trying to run away. Dashes over the wall. Now trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mako. Puts the shield down. Going to mitigate some of the damage. Rookie should be able to escape as Kid going to get executed by this turret. Yeah, so execution does go down, but in the Bush, as they're looking to try and take down this Baron with 20% so extra damage and an Infernal Drake to top it off, they should be able to take this down. Looks like they're going for it. Tabe's in. It's going to be contested, but Klulov this time, he finds a smite onto the major objective by Rookies. Into the back lines, he takes down Def, but they're going to take the return kill onto the mid laner. It's still a two for two trade so far, but EDG looking to try and clean up the IG lineup. Double kill coming out from Scout, but it's still only two members left alive. Mouse going to try and go over the wall, jumps towards Tabe. He's going to be able to take it down with one more auto attack. Can't quite find it. Never move, going to root him down as well. So it's still a three for three trade. So in the end, three for three trade, but the Baron could fire cannon proc on the turret whenever they can. They're definitely winning this war so far. Ultimate actually coming down here from Def, trying to chunk out Rain as much as possible. Power Walker just comes down one more time. Never move, going to actually gonna lock down Clearla for a short amount of time. But that's a major cooldown they have to wait for now. Def going to find some more auto attacks towards this turret. It's going to go down. They find it. Inhibitor is now left open. EDG breakthrough towards the base. Mouse actually trying to dive towards the back lines. Tatai puts on the bird and tries to soak up as much damage as possible. Tame now gets separated. Here's EDG. They're very focused on trying to take down this objective. Both teams trading quite equally for now, though, despite the Baron buff. On EDG's lineup, and they're still taking this as slowly and steadily as possible. Rookie into the back lines, but Def just takes him one on one, finds the solo kill. Now looking towards Kid, he gets exhausted, and Scout takes him down instead. This inhibitor definitely gonna fall down for EDG. Yeah, and it's a 40 second death timer, and only three members remaining. EDG want to continue. They want to win the game here. They might be able to do just that. No Baron buff. Minions left available, but they do have Super Minions crashing towards the base now. That's a very low IG lineup. They're looking to go and regenerate their health and should be able to push EDG out of the base. Yeah, so finally EDG do leave, but it's with a 10,000 gold lead. Mm -hmm. And after kicking down the front door... Boy, stuff. So lots of magic penetration on this Azir. It's actually caught our rookie... Ultimate comes out from Mako, not going to find the oh. bunk. Flashes aggressively forward. Scout slides in as well as Rookie is going to get taken down by Def. They find another pick towards the mid lane, and Baron has waiting to burn it as the Super Creeps are approaching the Nexus turret. And these are Baron up Super Creeps, so they're going to prove me wrong here. ZDG looking to try and end the game. To tie, actually caught out, immediately goes into bird form, tries to regenerate as much as possible. Mako. Soaking up a lot of damage with the shield being put up. EDG. Five seconds still on Rookie. They're just going to try and brute force their way through to the next as they take down the turrets. They're ignoring the champion. Scout just knocks them backwards, but Def, he's been taken out. I don't think it's really going to matter as we are going to take a look at the, uh, the players as EDG pick up the win here against Invictus Gaming.